Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be looking at some viewer creations. Now you guys have been fantastic about sending me viewer creations. I'm not always the best about checking them all out just because I'm really busy, but I do like to do at least one viewer creation episode a week. And today we have two creators. I wanted to mix this one up a little bit. I've been sent one creation here. This is by Dimitri. He sent me this awesome looking Jeep. And then the rest of these creations are by Doge Lord. Now, you might have heard of the name Doge Lord recently. Uh, he's been featured a couple times on several big channels. Uh, Spy Cakes featured him. Uh, he had his modern house and his yacht. And Diesel, I believe, had his yacht in his beach town. Now, he sent me an email. It had the modern house, the yacht, and a flyer in it. And those are all awesome creations. They're all in his workshop. But... Since everybody else was already featuring those, I was like, let me go ahead and just check out your workshop and see what else you have. And he was like, sure. And I'm so glad I did. His workshop's like a treasure chest of things. It is absolutely awesome. He's got from houses, yachts, buses. He's got this pocket city thing going on where he's got all these buildings and all these mini cars. He's got diesels on there. It's great. Like, he uses mostly vanilla parts. Like, all these are vanilla parts except for the uh, Ghostbusters. I think it's called the Ecto-1. Uh, that's the only one that uses mod parts. But everything's vanilla. He's just got really cool creations. And I want to show you guys the uh, spider webs on these things. There is a lot going on in all of these creations. Now, we're going to split this up a little bit. I'm going to do the off-road vehicles and anything that's going to use the terrain out here. But... The stuff like the uh, bus, I'm going to take that over to a flat world because this thing is so long, it's going to high center constantly out here. Alright, we're going to check out these three vehicles real quick. Uh, this is Dimitri's vehicle. We'll check out Doge Lords after. But this is a Jeep Wrangler, and this thing is ridiculously detailed, and it doesn't lag at all. Which is really amazing considering the size and the suspension setup he's got under here. And I think that's a part of the reason it doesn't lag. He calls it a rubber suspension. And to be honest with you, I cannot explain that to you at all. Let's see. This is the front of the vehicle. It looks like he's got two bearings here turning the wheel, which I don't really understand what's going on there. I'm assuming this all is linked together somehow. Uh, let's see. Back here, I believe the suspension is really just on this arm. And these backs just kind of droop down. Which I've seen something similar to this. I wonder if this is a uh, gas powered or maybe it's on a controller. Uh, no telling, but let me uh, drop this off a lift and just watch this thing fall. See how it just slumps down like right there in the front and in the back? Now, here's a good question. How do I get into this? This thing's so huge. Uh, let's uh, get a lift out here and uh, we'll try hopping up in this thing. There we go. Uh, there is a lot of detail in here, by the way. You can see uh, some of the motor sticking out. <laughs> the inside is really unique because just the sheer size of it. And back here, you can actually... Actually, I don't know if you can get out of that. That might be a death trap down there. Maybe there's a... I bet you this back door opens. Let's go here in the front and play with some buttons here. Looks like we've got some thruster power here. And two... Actually, both of these are thruster power. I bet you one of these is kind of pinning it down, so... We're going to activate both of these and drive around a bit. Oh, that is awesome. And it's so smooth. That ride. It turns nice. I believe it's using some thruster assistance. Looks like we've got some... Or those might be turning signals. Uh, where are those activated from? I don't wonder if those are activated from maybe the passenger seat. I'm going to have to investigate some of this. But first, I want to drive this thing around. This is awesome. It's so stable and it gets up these hills really nice. It's having no issues whatsoever. Uh, it runs good. I'm trying to give you guys a look at the uh, suspension in the front. That's awesome. But those might actually be on two individual arms. I don't think those are actually moving together. Alright, we've got some bumps to hit here. See how this thing handles. And whoa, that suspension really drops down. Oh, that is really cool looking. Uh, I'm still wondering if these doors open or what the passenger does because it seems like there's some bearings in here that I don't know how to activate because there's only two buttons here. It's just the thrusters to make it go forward and it looks like the thrusters to make the uh, front end pitch up, which I'm assuming that's a part of the weight in the front that he needs it to 
hold it up a bit for it to work right. If not, it'd probably be digging into the ground really bad. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna turn these off real quick. What does this one do? This one doesn't do anything, so... You know what? I don't think the door's open. I think it's really just there for looks, and that's probably because all the angles he's got it set at. I don't know why you would even need the door in the first place, because it's not like you can actually hop up in this. You're gonna need a lift to get up in this huge thing. But it is still fantastic. I love the amount of detail on it. I want to thank him for sending this in. But yeah, I'll put a link to his workshop in the description. Now this Jeep does use the Grego mod, so you'll need that to be able to check this thing out. But thanks to him for sending that. All right, I've got a couple of Doge Lords vehicles here. Now this is his Ural truck and his Ecto-1 from the original Ghostbusters. Now his other vehicles I'm gonna play with on a flat map because they're a little long and I have a feeling they're gonna get high centered out here. But anyways, this is is a Ural, and I believe I'm saying that right, it's a brand, uh, it's not here in the US, but they're awesome looking, the only thing I've ever seen these on, I believe Spin Tires has them, and that's what he was basing these vehicles off of. Now you've got this one here, and he's got another one. Let me go ahead and pull the other one out, because it's a bit laggy, so here it is. This one actually has a crane, and we might try this one in the flat world if it works, but as you can see, it has got an insane spider web. Like that is absolutely crazy. And when it hits the ground, it does this. Boom. We went from right around 60 frames to about 14. So we might try this one out in the flat world because I really want to see it in action, but it's going to be a bit laggy. So we're going to take this one out here. But yeah, this one over here is basically the same thing without the crane. But he's got these attachments that you can put on it, and these are all on his workshop also. Uh, the only thing you do, you lift it up, it's got a gray spot on the bottom, and you'll weld it to the gray spot here. But anyways, I want to drive this thing, because it looks really awesome, and it's still a really busy spider web. And he says back here, he's got like this differential, and you can lock it, and unlock it, and I'm really curious as to how it works, so let's go ahead and hop in here. This actually looks a little similar to my two and a half ton truck. Oh man, that was a long time ago. I want to say probably at least three or four months ago. But this one actually looks a lot better. He just uses the angles so much better. And these are all vanilla parts, by the way. So he's just done such a fantastic job with this one. And what is that in there? Is that a fan? Oh, that's cool. There's actually a lot of engine detail in there. I wonder if this actually pops out. Let's see. Let's play with some buttons here. Horn door door engine look at that oh that is absolutely crazy i love this yeah this is like one of my favorite things to go in here and check out your guys creations especially when you have something that's really just awesome like this and there's a lot of detail like i could do this all day and uh, unfortunately i don't have all day to do this so let's uh drive this thing around and i've got the hood stuck here which one is it two three four there it is found it Oh, this thing handles really nice. And that suspension on there, actually that is a really unique suspension. Okay, you've got the two suspension pieces on the pipes. They're holding down the axle and the axle's also on another suspension piece right there by the motors. And here's the back. You know what? Let's go ahead and try to show you this in action here. And I'm really bad at controlling this camera. There we go. And actually, you see that extra piece there. I wonder if this is the uh, locking differentials. And I'm not really a huge car guy. Like, I love cars, so I'm not going to be able to explain this 100% correct. But let's go ahead and hit him real quick. I believe it's five. Okay, so what does that change here? I know it's changed something. I've watched the pipe piece move over. And I don't know if that's just kind of locking something down or if there's some sort of mechanism in there. Not really sure. I guess I can drive around. Actually, you know, it seems a bit slower. I bet you this is used for when you're wanna, wanting to like climb up a mountain or climb through or go through like maybe a, a mud pit, and it just kind of locks down all the wheels and makes it travel better. I don't wanna, I don't really know, but this is really really cool. Like I'm really happy I picked out this vehicle. But yeah, this one's on the workshop. Let me go ahead and unlock it here. I'm assuming that was locked and this is unlocked. There we go, it definitely drives a lot faster now. But yeah, this is on the workshop. 
he's also got all the attachments on there and he's got the one with the crane on the workshop. But yeah, let's check out the Ecto-1 now. Now, this is one of his only creations that uses mods. This uses the Grego mod. It has these really long slanted pieces. So, I can't really picture doing this any other way with the vanilla parts just to get it this shape because this looks really accurate to the movie. Now, let's go ahead and hop in here and just see what it does. So, we got a horn, swimming door, door, engine. Well, there's a lot of controllers in there. Uh, let's see. I think that's it. It's a pretty awesome looking vehicle. I'm just trying to see how it handles. It's a little long, so I have a feeling I might get stuck and... You know what? I feel like we might be using the suspension glitch to turn. I could be wrong. This thing really turns easy for how long it is. I'm actually going to have to lift this up on a lift and check that out because it really feels like that's what's happening here. Because yeah, you can basically turn it in place. Either that or it's just got a lot of power to the rear wheels. I could be wrong. But yeah, I haven't seen this movie since I was a child and now this vehicle kind of makes me want to go back and watch it again. I haven't watched the latest Ghostbusters. I haven't heard too many great things about it. I don't know, it's just something about having the magic of the original cast, like that's what made Ghostbusters for me, so I'm not really sure I could watch Ghostbusters with a whole new set of cast. Uh, it's always kind of weird, especially, I mean, they do that with a lot of movies now, but anyways, it's a fantastic looking vehicle, and you know what? That's bugging me. What is this under here? Let's go ahead and lift it up, put it up, and whoa, is there an alarm going off here? I don't wonder if it's got some sort of system in it. I know this thing has a siren uh, when it drives around. You know, actually there's a couple tote bot heads there. Uh, suspension glitch. I believe he does have one back here in the back or maybe here. Or it could be in the front. I don't know. I've never really used the suspension glitch a lot, so I couldn't tell you 100% how it works. Like, I know how it works, but I don't always know, like, where to spot it at. And he's got the bottom covered, so... But yeah, cool vehicle. I think it is time to go check out the other vehicles in the flat world. All right, we are in the flat world. I'm gonna give this one one more go here since this, in theory, shouldn't lag as much out here. So let's take it off the lift and ooh, the crushing, the, the 15 frames. You know, we're gonna try it anyway. So I do apologize if it's a little bit laggy, but I really wanna see if this thing works, so. Actually, you know what? Looks like we control it up there, and I might have made a boo-boo. Let's see if we can hop up. There we go. Uh, oh. Let's see. Okay, the one button lifts it up. Two lifts it, or makes it push down. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Hold on, let's see if we can get this out. Does it open? Uh, let's try four. Four actually controls the second arm up there. Uh, five. Oh, it does open. That is cool. Let me guess. It turns like this. That is amazing. That's actually really awesome, man. I can't wait for that new engine. If it can make something like this run really stable, the possibilities are endless in Scrap Mechanic. Uh, let's see. What does six do? Okay, six turns the claw, and I'm assuming seven turns it the other way. That is awesome. Yeah, that is definitely a very unique creation now i understand why it's lagging there's tons of bearings up here and anything that's got stuff like this i mean it's just really hard to not make it lag so really not his fault at all but that is a a very unique creation all right he's got two more creations here that we're going to check out he's got this awesome city bus that the Spider web is absolutely insane on it. There's tons of bearings, controllers, looks like all the windows work. There's a couple roof hatches, the doors slide out, uh, a lot of detail there. And then he's got a Mercedes diesel, which I don't think I've ever seen one like this. I know what the diesel looks like in real life, but I don't think I've ever seen one like this in Scrap Mechanic. And it is also loaded, so no telling what this thing actually does, but hmm. Which one do I want to check out first? You know what? That city bus looks just too awesome to not check out. Now, I had to look at this for a moment and figure out how to open the doors because I was really confused. Uh, always when you download a creation from the workshop, I know a lot of people that look at these creations, they don't actually read the description, so they have no clue how to control it. Uh, I was kind of guilty of that. But 
He's got a little switch here under or by the wheel. So right there, it's gonna slide that door open, which that looks awesome because it actually has that sliding motion. Uh, it doesn't really drag across the surface of the glass, which is really good. When I do like airlocks and stuff, it actually kind of rubs and it does create a bit of lag, but he did it. He did that really good. Now the inside is extremely detailed and this would be something cool if you had you and your friends, somebody can be the driver, you've got plenty of room for everybody else. Uh, like I said, the windows all open, so you've got those, you've got the hatches here on the top. I'm assuming these are morally escape hatches, say the bus tips over or some, god forbid one of these accidents <laughs> happen, but yeah, uh, those are those escape hatches. Uh, let's see, all windows. He's got a sensor for this door here, so you stand right here and boom, you can walk right out. And I believe it's on a timer and it just closes, or maybe the controller's got it set to close. Uh, let's see. Now this bus has several other unique features. It actually, here let me zoom out a bit and make sure you can hear it. Yeah, it's a little quiet. I guess I need to be a little closer to it. There it goes. Yeah, you can hear the uh, engines picking up, but when you back this bus up, and eh, let's see, I need to be kind of back here. Man, I wish this camera would go out further, but wait for it. Let's see here, it starts to beep. It's got a little reverse beep, which <laughs> that's it's awesome. I, I don't know exactly how he's done that. I'm pretty sure uh, the reverse, maybe there's another bearing back there. It's set on either a, it could be a timer. It could be like a little pipe piece that rotates and maybe hits a sensor that activates that tote bot head. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, that would be my guess. I'm pretty sure there's a little more logical way to do it now since you have the logic gates. But uh, let's play with some of the other buttons here. Let's see. One key is a horn. Two's the side door. Ah, uh, he's got this kneel feature, which I believe this is when you pull up to a curve or something. I believe the bus, it's got like an air suspension where it'll kind of soften it on one side and lean over, I guess to make it where it's a little easier to load people in and out of. Uh, that's really awesome. So let's see, there it goes. So we've got that back. Let's see, that's a little, is that a stopper for the door? Not really sure what that is. I, oh, you know what? I bet you that is a ramp, uh, maybe a handicap ramp. Let's uh, open that door again. Oh, I might have jammed the door there. There it goes. So you've got that. Let's see. Yep, that's exactly what that is. That is awesome. Like this is just, there's so many features to this bus. It's probably the most detailed bus I've ever seen in Scrap Mechanic. I'm a little jealous that I can't build something like this. Let's see. I'm gonna close this here. There's so many buttons. I'm trying to get used to everything. So there we go. And I believe that's it. Oh, okay, the headlights are on buttons too. All right, let's uh, drive around a bit. Just see how it handles. I'm pretty sure it handles like a bus, but you know, it's actually turning quite nicely. It's got a, it's got a wide turning radius, which is not surprising, but it turns a little better than I pictured it turning. Uh, this bus does appear to be made completely out of metal, so it is extremely heavy, so I'm surprised it hasn't tipped over. Maybe it's because it's so wide it hasn't gotten to that point, or it could just be the suspension is designed really good on here. Uh, you really can't see the setup because he's got it completely enclosed, and I don't want to exactly rip this apart. But yeah, you've got that, you've got the, uh, the even the front leans in a little bit, so it's on a bearing. Uh, it's just those little details, like you could have just made this front end flat, but he's gone that extra mile and actually leaned it back a little bit, and you can see where the big mirrors are and everything. Yeah, that is probably my favorite bus creation in Scrap Mechanic. And I've gone through quite a few buses, I've created quite a few buses, and I've not even come close to this thing. Let me think, I don't think I've missed anything. There's a lot of controllers back here and there's some bearings in the back. The only thing I think that could be, maybe there's an engine compartment back here. Uh, let's see, do I see any buttons? Actually, those bearings are for lights. I bet you when we back up, which I can't see it because the camera doesn't go out far enough, I bet you it either switches those on and that's where you get that like reverse light or something. But that's really, really awesome. Yeah, let me go ahead and take this off. This thing's killing the frames a bit, so we're gonna get rid of this. 
He also has a less laggy version of this bus on his workshop, so say you can't run that one, he's got one. I don't know what features may or may not be in it, maybe some of the windows don't open, maybe it doesn't kneel down, I I'm not 100% sure, but he does have one of those on there too. But anyways, here is the Mercedes diesel. I can already tell you this spider web is fairly insane, so no telling what this thing actually does. All of his vehicles seem to be feature rich, so let's see. Oh, this actually looks like it's got another one of those suspension types that were in the truck, and I can't really get down to it. Let me see if you can kind of look in there. Yeah, he doesn't attach them directly like I do. It seems like he's got the front axle, and then he's got those suspension pieces on a pipe that just runs across, and I don't know really what the advantage might be for that. Maybe it's a lag thing or uh, no telling. And, oh, look at that. This thing actually sways like a real diesel. That's that's awesome. Uh, it looks like he's got the last wheel actually turns with it too. And I don't know if that's, maybe that is a thing on the Mercedes. I don't know. I don't, I've never seen a diesel that the uh, back tires actually turn with the front. Uh, that could be a thing. I'm not 100% sure to be honest with you. But it surely does help it turn. It leans, it does feel like it kind of wants to tip, but I guess maybe we can test that out. And, oh, is that what I think it is? Oh, that's cool. It's a little mirror toy or whatever you want to call them. It's a little duct that hangs down. That's a, that's sweet. Let's go and back out here. Let's go and see if we can, oh, yep, yeah, yeah, we can tip it. That didn't take too much, but that's not surprising. And this thing is really heavy on the top. And it is a diesel. You're not supposed to do crazy stuff like that, but... That uh, suspension design is definitely something. I, I've never seen anything like this before. I mean, everything seems like they're on their little individual bearings, like nothing's really connected. Now he does have the left and right axles connected, I believe. I'm not sure about in the back, but the front is at least. Uh, let's see if he's got this where it opens. So well, we've got a horn here, door, door, uh, windshield wipers, that's awesome. I want to say this cab might tip forward. I could be wrong though. It just might be a loose item. Just the way when it sways, you can see it kind of separate a little bit. And you can actually see the engine detail in there. He's got another one of those fans, which that's really awesome. But I'm trying to figure out if that's what that does, or maybe it's just the way the cab is. Let me, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I almost tipped it again. Let me uh, stop it here. Let's open the door. See if there's any outside switches. I'll pull up the spider web and oh, I didn't quite get out of that. All right, question is, does this lean? Let's pull up the spider web. Does this front part come up? It actually doesn't look like it does. I think it's just setting on some suspension pieces from what I can see. But that is a crazy design. I, I love this thing. Uh, I don't know if, I didn't see like a matching trailer with it, but he might very well have one of those. I just didn't see it. But yeah, he's got a fantastic workshop. I would highly suggest checking it out. He does have a channel, but he says he hasn't posted on it. Uh, hopefully he starts to because he's got potential to be a awesome scrap mechanic uh, builder on YouTube. His last couple things that I'm not going to actually pull out uh, is just the stuff that he actually sent me was this yacht, which Diesel's shown it off, and I believe Spy Kicks showed it off. Uh, really cool. It drives very nice. I got to play around with it a little bit. Uh, he's also got a cool little flyer here, and he's got a modern house, which I love buildings on slabs like this and where they can actually put them on the workshop. Uh, there's been quite a few creators that have been doing that recently, and I think I'm going to start doing this because it's always nice to be able to get stuff besides vehicles on the workshop. So uh, it's a really cool, really detailed house, so I'd highly suggest checking it out. But anyways, that's going to about wrap it up for today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely go check out all the creators and their fantastic creations. I'll have Dimitri's and Doge Lord's workshops linked in the description. But yeah, we'll have some more Scrap Mechanic coming up on Monday with Multiplayer Monday, and then Tuesday we'll probably be back in the moon base. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.